Alright, how's it going everybody? I'm Phil and today we will be learning how to fly using Adobe After Effects. Um, you can use CS4, you can use CS5, CS3, uh, 7, 6.5, hopefully, um, if those aren't too old to, to operate. Um, but I'm going to just be using CS4 today. Um, this is actually a fairly simple effect <clears throat> and, and really, really simple to, to do. It's pretty much just old switcheroo with a little bit of a camera shake and some blur here, some little dust and dirt and stuff. I, it's it's real simple. I'm gonna show you how how to do this. Um, also, if I go too fast, please, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm, I'm gonna try to get through this as quick and painless as possible. Um, just because I know you don't want to sit here and watch a uh, 30 minute tutorial. So, uh, yeah, so so let's go ahead and get started because uh, I'm already wasting too much time. Let's go ahead and minimize that. All right, now, what, pr primarily what you want to do, your actor just pretty much just runs and jumps um, in this manner here. Nothing too special or, or anything like that. Um... Not, not the too special, just a run and jump, simple run and jump. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to find the highest point at which your actors jump. For me, it was right here. And I marked it with this little marker. You can drag it from here, or you can hit the star button <clears throat> right above your number 9 key. Either way, drag it, drop it, whatever the case may be. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to duplicate it. You, well, the way I had to do it was 4, but you can do 3. Uh, control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And right here, you want to chop it. Alt begin bracket. Oh, wait, wrong one. Alt end bracket. Right there to chop it at that point. And so now that top layer is just, it goes and it stops. And that's exactly what we want. Almost. I want to come in here. Oh, that's why, because it wasn't even on the marker. Here we go. Bam. Right there. Perfect. You can also zoom in and out by holding the Alt, Alt key, and then rolling it in your mouse button. And it zooms in and zooms out. So if you didn't know that, you're welcome. And then holding space and then left clicking, you can kind of drag it left and right. Um. All right. Anyways. So you have it stopped right there. Now what you want to do is you want to bring back up these ones. Let's see this one right here. And right here we want a still image of this part right here. So you right click, go time, freeze frame. So now that entire hand, let me go ahead and solo it. That entire frame is just it's just still image, and that's exactly what we want. Alright, so now from here, let's just go ahead and push this to that side. So now if we was to preview it. You run, jumps, and get stuck in the air. Now that's a simple uh, freeze frame effect or, or time freeze, and you can kind of have an actor walk in on this side, and you know you just froze time or whatever the case may be. All right. So there goes another little trick. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. It's here. It stopped. Now what we're going to do is we want to cut out our actor. So we're going to take the pen tool up here, and we're going to mask him out. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to do this really, really fast. For All right, so I'm done uh, masking out my my actor. Um, and uh, we can go ahead and see that if we was... Oh, it's already solid. What am I talking about? Open up that. Bam. That's back. Now, this this part right here can be a little tricky um, at the beginning what I did was I didn't enter the frame of the camera for about 11 seconds and that was because I knew I was gonna have to replace that background after my after I took off to fly so that entire time let me sorry let me zoom in um, it's just uh, a clean slate you can see the cars moving but I, I haven't entered the frame yet and so what we're going to do is we're going to take that part of the video place it over here just like that 
So now, if I was solo, it's just a blank slate again. That's before I enter the frame. That's me jumping in the air, and that is oh, that doesn't even matter anymore. All right. So now that we got that all taken care of, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, hit M for your mass properties, and we're going to let me solo, solo that MM, and we're going to bring the expansion in, and we're going to feather it a bit. Um, now you guys will probably end up taking more time on that on the original one I did, but just for tutorial's sake, I'm gonna just uh do it real ugly like and there you have it so we can go ahead and unsolo that collapse that panel and uh, begin to move hit P for your position and you're gonna wanna make him move uh, in the direction of which he was jumping so we hit the stopwatch and we bring it out to about here and we just move him up uh, let's say over right here. Go ahead and preview that. And that may be a little bit too slow. That is way too slow. So we're going to head and <clears throat> bring the keyframes in. The last keyframe. Jump. Nope. Still not fast enough. Bring it in more. And you kind of just want to test it. Uh. There's a there's a hitch in there, and that hitch is coming from a repeat of frames. <clears throat> you see, it's repeating that frame. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this back one, move these forward, and pull that back. So now let's see how that works. Yeah, that's that's a tad bit better. Still not fast enough. Let's go ahead and bring it in two frames. Preview it. Oh, you can also preview it by hitting the zero key. <clears throat> he jumps. Okay. Also, when when you go to make him jump, you want to make sure that he, he flies off in the same direction um, that he's jumping, or else it's, it's going to look weird. I mean, even the slightest bit. Let's say uh, this is kind of a little extreme, but jumping off to the side. I mean, that just looks really, really fake. Um, but if you go in the same direction that he's trying to jump in, then you'll be fine. <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it, basically, just for the old switcheroo and uh, having him fly. Oh, one more thing: the uh, the blur. Let's see the effect. You go blur, and we're gonna go. Let's go fast blur. One changes to vertically because that's the only way he's flying. Back it up. You can also keyframe this so it starts off as a low blur, and then as it goes on, it's kind of subtle, but just keyframe it on. We'll just go uh 20 here, and then when he gets to about here or so, up it to 55. And it kind of just, it's 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 extremely subtle, but it works, I guess. You can go ahead and preview it. And also what would sell this a lot is sound effects. Uh, most people don't realize, but sound is a very big part of, of what we do. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go to the original version and uh, break this down for you guys real quick. So you guys can see exactly what I did. Um, and I can go kind of go through some of the other stuff like the rain and all that other goodness so uh... We'll go ahead and turn on all of these right here this is just the original version of it that's just the original version of me jumping and then let's see oh the, the little smoke plume this this is actually just an element from the uh, Video Copilot's Action Central 2 Toolkit. Um, it's smoke. It's a Wisp number one MOV. Um, so yeah. Um, place that. 
and all they did was scale it up. Um, as he jumps, he, it just gets bigger, and it goes away. And then there's this dust wave that comes in at the same time. Just just to add a little bit of atmospheric interaction, and and to make it look real. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, there's a dirt charge also. Once again, from the video copilot's action essentials to toolkit. Um, see what else is there? There is oh the shadow. There's there's a little minor shadow that I added. Um, and all I did was make it a 3D layer and rotate it and put it in there. Um, and as I as I run up, you can see it here. Um. As I run up, it kind of just follows my feet. And as I jump, it gets smaller, simulating me leaving or getting further away from the ground. Um, a sense of realism. That's what will really happen. In real life, in real life if you were actually flying. Um, the rain, I believe, is just CC rain. Uh, you just go right click. You know, just create a, a solid uh, control wire or command Y. Same, make a comp size on black, I guess, and just go right click. You know what? You can just use this over here. Most people like to use this. Where'd it go? Window, effects and presets. Let that sucker load up and just type in CC Rain. And you have it right here. And you just drop it on. And then you can kind of just mess with that. Um, hit F4 to toggle your switches you want to go to screen and voila you have rain you can uh, mess with the amount and all that other good stuff um... where else am I? window oh another thing from a uh, video copilot's action essentials to toolkit <sighs> the rain on the lens it's just window what is that? window rain and last but not least, the color correction. I use Colorista. Um, I like I like to use Colorista. It's easy. It's fairly simple. I mean, you can use uh, Magic Bullet looks or or whatever the case may be, but I prefer just to use Colorista. Um, but that's pretty much it. You put all those elements together, and uh, you have yourself a a little flying. Technique, I guess. Uh, thank you, and uh, please leave a comment, like, or if you have a question or anything, uh, a suggestion on a tutorial, please feel free to leave me a comment or, or a message and let me know. Thank you, and uh, thank you for watching.